What is up people of YouTube? I'm your host Vernon. This is Lake Mead. Let's fish that. Alright guys, so we are out here today looking for my 100th fish for the year of 2020 uh, after having a listen to what you guys mentioned which fish you think i should get stuff like that uh, i've decided to come here to lake mead uh, a few things i want to point out uh, the one comment said to go for something like marlin uh, great idea however due to budget cutbacks uh, the marlin run here in lake mead has been cancelled so I'm not going to go for any marlin stuff i did however think of going to a place like willow beach perhaps go and get some big trout uh, but due to some recent rain we've had the roads there washed away so no access to willow beach at the moment uh, so i decided let's go to lake mead let's see what fish we can get there thinking about it the most iconic fish for me out of lake mead that i wanted to catch would be little striped bass. For that reason, I decided to come here today to target striped bass in particular. The spot that we got today is a bit muddy. Uh, it's, we have a sandbar going in, so you kind of have to walk on the sandbar, get in deep and cast out there. Uh, it's quite shallow here in the front part of this little cove that we're in. So not easy fishing here today. We'll see if we can manage to get a little striped bass to get my 100th fish. Uh, might move some spots if we're not having any luck or success in this particular spot as i mentioned it is a bit of a difficult spot to fish we might move if we can find another more suitable spot all right guys to explain what i mean with the little sandbar uh, let's quickly walk out there and i'll show you what i mean how deep i can go in before i actually start reaching deeper water This is a very clay-like substance that I'm currently walking on. It's easy to get stuck in the mud. But we have a sandbar out here. And from this point on, it starts getting gradually a bit deeper. I'm going to try and get this out there as far as I can. All right, so we have our three rods out there baited. Uh, I have to say, I did realize when taking out this one, there's a lot more grass already growing. Uh, the grass is a lot higher for this time of year than it should be already uh, so as, as with the change of the fish and behavior i think that's because they're reacting to how the lake is changing and because of the weird weather we're having lakes different fish's behavior is different and we as fishermen also need to adapt to these changing behaviors lots of grass out there uh, these striped rods tend to get stuck in the grass uh, so fish won't eat a mouthful of grass so we'll see if we get anything on that, if I can find some open spaces. Uh, but only three rods out here for the two anglers. So I think I'm going to set up my fourth little rod and perhaps see if we have any fish in these little bushy areas. Alright guys, between our two little anchovy rods, we had a carp set up as well. And I think we may have a carp on here, meaning that my 100th fish won't necessarily be a little striped bass. But let's see if we can land this fish. Thank you. 
All right, guys, there we are. Fish number 100 for the year 2020. This is a carp with a big belly that's empty at the moment. I think this one's already been spawned. Uh, done with the spawn, quite hungry at the moment, and that's why we got this one on corn. All right, guys, there we have our little carp. You can see the belly, it's quite movable, meaning it's not full. I think these fish are hungry. The waters have changed temperatures. I think they're already spawned. They're hungry, so they are happy to go for some corn. Quickly gonna get this fish back into the water. Gonna revive the fish a bit, and there it goes. All right, guys, that was a pretty unexpected catch. Um, the idea was to use the two rods out here with anchovies to try and get some stripers, and my wife actually suggested to me that why not get the carp rod out here as well, um, rather have it in there and try for some carp. Uh, after explaining to her, but all the signs pointing that carp won't be won't be biting at the moment as they are in the spawn mode uh, After explaining that and looking at all the evidence and all of the stats from years past uh, Thinking we won't catch any carp. I have to eat humble pie Just catching that carp goes to show that you never should just go basically on the stats uh, you kind of have to fish the moment that you're in um, because of the warmer weather we've been having uh, Lake Mead actually kind of started earlier with the spawn season for both bass as well as carp it seems so these fish are out there they are hungry so we're going to try again for some carp and we're also going to try for the stripers again I'm quickly going to rebate and try and get these rods out there uh, the sandbar does move quite in a long way so I'm going to take that and try and get out there to see if we can get some stripers as well. All right, guys, we just had a second little carp, but that one got away. A rookie mistake on my part. I did not check the knots and stuff after catching that first one. Uh, the knots came loose and big fish we didn't manage to get him. Uh, because the hook came loose so tied on a new setup new one out there let's see if we can catch some more all right guys so the wife is busy fighting what we think is a big carp let's see if she can Managed to get it in so we can land it without it going into all these little bushes and stuff. <laughs> all right, guys, a nice personal base. four kilograms. It's a nine pound carp. Quickly gonna get a photo of this one before we release him. All right, guys, we're gonna release this one. Let's get deep enough. Okay. And off he goes. <clears throat> and he's off. Nice big catch right there. All right, guys. Been a strange trip today. Came here planning to catch some stripers, didn't get any bites on any of the anchovies, uh, had no stripers, no, none anywhere around to be seen, anything like that. No one else caught any stripers as well. Uh, maybe they're in deep, maybe they're in another place, who knows, didn't catch any stripers. 
We did, however, manage to get some carp. Uh, we were lucky enough to land two carp, but we also lost a total of four carp. Uh, along with the carp we lost, we lost the little rigs or feeders that we use when trying to catch these carp. Uh, so no more feeders, meaning we cannot try and target any carp until I get some more. So I still need to order some feeders and stuff online. Uh, maybe I'll bring you guys a video about that at some stage. But for now, no longer going to be doing carp fishing. It was a fun day out here. Uh, lots of action from the carp. But like I said, we only managed to get the two little carp. But my 100th fish for the year, we got that done and dusted. So let's see what's on the next adventure. All right, guys. So thank you for watching this little video of mine. Thank you for liking. Please feel free to leave any comments down below. And I'll see you next time.